And I would say the, un the United Kingdom doesn't have unique environmental challenges. It has the challenges typical of many developed countries. It's a country which uh, initiated the Industrial Revolution and it carries the legacy of that in terms of contamination and so on. Um, and if we go further back in time, if we go back to somewhere like the Bronze Age, people have manipulated the environment for a very, very long time. In the Bronze Age, it was deforestation. Uh, and so we live in a landscape that is almost entirely artificial. It's a construct. So that raises interesting challenges for us about what we mean by a pristine landscape or pristine environment. Uh, and what, uh, how, how we can uh, manage the environment in the future. What kind of outcomes do we want? Now, at a shorter time scale, we could take immediate, what we might call environmental problems, things like flooding. And I'm, hyd I'm a hydrologist, so I'm very interested in water management. Flooding, there are very many different outcomes that we might want. We might want to stop flooding. Actually, that's not possible. We might want to manage the damage. We might want to manage uh, reduce the area of flooding. We might want to reduce the number of people affected. Now, all of those are different outcomes. And in my lectures, and in the UK more generally, those questions, things to do with the management of the environment in a highly developed economy with a very articulate population, those are the kind of questions which um, I think are more uh, common in the UK. They would be not unique across Europe, though. Um, I will say one more thing, though. Britain has an outstanding reputation for its environmental science internationally. And so in one sense, we are in an almost unique position in offering potential solutions, or at least ideas towards solutions, to the rest of the world. And I think we should be doing that because some of these challenges are very, very urgent.